Hey guys, welcome back to another episode and today we are looking into pyramids and how to generate them. I'm uh, picking up on a, pre on a previous code uh, we used in the, in the last episode for the prism generation. So essentially a point, a uh, polygon and of course the uh, boundary surfaces for filling up your uh, polygon. Okay, so how do we how do we make a pyramid out of this? So first off, we go into extrude like this, and go into extrude point. And now we can just connect our surface there. And now, of course, we need we need a point. And naturally, if we just pick our initial point up and set it in, we can just see that the whole surface will simply collide into that point. So to change this, we need to add in a move command so, so that we can move our point to a different position. As you, as you can see, it, it already generated right, right on top of our surface, at least a few uh, 10 meters up. And now we just need to connect it here. And as you can see, our pyramid has now been generated. And now we can just adjust how many segments we want for our pyramid. We can adjust the radius. And of course, the fill option, which might deform uh, the pyramid a bit. Mm. Okay, now if you wish to change this, we can just go to change its position at least on its height value to go to something like. Oh, pardon me, forgot to put in the z axis. <laughs> Let me just put that in there. Okay. Now we can we can easily adjust its uh, height. However, let's imagine you want to change uh, its position, make sort of a tilted pyramid. To do this, and by keeping in its height, we just copy and paste this. We connect it here. We add in. I'm gonna put in an x an x unit, like so. Can see, can see. And now copy this one and paste it here like so and now if I add it in here our pyramid has now been moved to a tilted pyramid we can just both its height and its x value or or y value if you if you prefer of course like that okay guys so this has been a very simple tutorial on how to set up your first normal or tilted pyramid uh, once once again, the initial code here will be in a link in the description to a previous video. Uh, I hope you found, you found this helpful and I hope to see you here next time.